There's been a lot made of the fact that you've taken three polygraphs and that the polygraph operators have reported that you failed the first two polygraphs and that you walked out in frustration on the third before it really got going. Um, and you said that the first polygraph seemed to be kind of a normal protocol. The second one seemed like a hurry up job that they didn't really do half of what they did on the first one. Right. And the third one was very frustrated and you didn't actually do it. So the, the first one was approximately an hour long and reading the results took about three hours to do it. Um, I'm very hard of hearing, virtually deaf in my left ear, so I have to look at people when I talk to them to understand what they're saying. He was behind me when he was doing the first polygraph. Um, so it took me a little bit of time to process what he was saying to respond. I was gone for the three hours while he put it together, came back, and he just, I don't even know what was up on the screen, but he said, you failed, and I was like, how can I possibly fail? I told the truth. And then they came in, um, two of the, uh, Bobby O'Donnell, lead investigator, another guy named Will, he's an FBI guy, he was part of the group, and uh, we're talking to me about it, and after discussion of it, I, I was upset, went back and I had, at that time, uh, called Kane, and I told him, I'm just done cooperating, I have had it, I cannot believe that they're focused on me, or they're not focusing where they need to be, and they took me home. I was at home. The, uh, the lead investigator of the FBI, his name's Lee Gossam, he called me over to the school or the fire station and asked that we have a discussion and um, <clears throat> about saying that they needed my help to continue on because I know Kyron as well as I do. <clears throat> Excuse me, I agreed that I would. It's just, I just said, I'm just angry because of all this is going on. He said, well, if had you had any other uh, reaction, I would have thought that you were guilty because I don't feel that way about you. Uh, the second polygraph was um, the guy was in a, in a rush. Well, how much do you rely on reading lips? <laughs> it's, it's heavy enough. I have to see the context of the person, what they're saying, their facial it, expression, it helps a lot. You had your back to them? Yeah, I was, if I'm sitting this way and I'm doing it, he's right here at a table. So I right. can hear out of this ear. It's just, it makes it much more difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, I, we spoke to Jack Tremarco, who does a lot of polygraph work for us. And he said that it's very possible for hearing to affect uh, a test result. He said, Definitely, if you have a hearing problem, that's very possible that it would affect a test result. I consider him to be the best of the best. Um, he said, but in the pretest portion of the polygraph, questions are reviewed and it is established that the questions are understood and that it should have been established that she wasn't hearing well before the test was given if that was a problem. I told him that. I told the polygrapher that. And he still got behind you? Yes. I told him I couldn't hear. Then he made it so that I was scooted over enough that I could hear more out of my right ear. Did you hear the questions? I did, but it took a minute to, to get them. What so, did he ask you? Um, uh, one of the questions was, was Kyron in the truck with you? Well, there's a fail right there because he was in the truck with me on the way to school, but not when we're leaving. So that one I can't even get right. And that was the one that I supposedly failed. He didn't ask you if you had, didn't ask me if, if you I knew heard where, my son, where he was? He uh, did ask if I knew. Um, what? Do you, do, you know who, do you know who has him or, yeah, do you know, do you know who has him or where he is? But the one that was failed was whether or not he was in the truck with me.